Welcome to The Boiling Point, Steven Taylor, Director of our Rental Division um, at Ware. And today I thought we'd talk a little bit about stack temperature. Steven, I see these temperature gauges and, you know, we just wonder sometimes what, what is going on. Why, why do we have to look at stack temperature? Uh, it, it's the single point on a boiler that a, an operator or maintenance guy can go to every day to see if there's a critical issue with a boiler. Mm. Stack temperature, it tells you what you know, what your efficiency is, if you get into the details. Mm -hmm. See what your efficiency is, tell you if you've got a problem, if you don't have a problem. It's a fire two boiler, three pass, victory unit, victory energy unit. It's gonna run 375 to 400, typically on high fire, run mm -hmm. a little lower on, on low fire. Mm -hmm. That's pretty typical. Okay. So if you're tracking that every day, and you're writing that down, down every day, you can look, okay, 380, 380, 380, 390, 410, 425, uh-oh, there's a problem. Okay. That's, and that's the quickest thing to tell them without any other monitoring devices that will tell them, hey, I've got a problem or no, nope, I'm, I'm clean, I'm okay. Right. Now, what happens um, if the stack temperature is basically just high on a boiler? I mean, if it's a, if it's a higher stack temperature, what can, actually, can you actually do with that, that heat? It, it, uh, higher, the higher the stack temperature, typically the, the less efficient the boiler is. Okay. You're not converting that heat to water okay. to make steam out of. So like on this one, when you put an economizer on it, you run your, your makeup water through that economizer, recover all that heat. It's free energy that mm -hmm. you're recovering. So then, then the, the temperature going out the stack up there may be 210 or 225 or something. <clears throat> But uh, th that's, that's what you want to do. It, right. if, if you have an opportunity, put, a, put an economizer on there to recover that heat. It, you install a boiler and let's just say the stack temperature is not high enough. What's, what's some of the effects of that? Uh, if you, one thing we have to be careful of in the boilers we're using with the XID tubes in them, got the furrows in them, uh -huh. is that if we put an economizer on there, if we're not careful, we'll drop that temperature too low and we'll start condensing. In other words, we'll get below the dew point of the air in the atmosphere. And so then we'll start condensing and having water just run down in there and it rust everything away. So you gotta be really careful mm. to not get below that dew point, start condensing, then everything has to be stainless steel. You can set it up for that, but everything has to be stainless steel to keep it from, from it'll, it'll, this is all mild steel, uh -huh. it'll rust every bit of completely out and destroy it. So now you mentioned the stack temperature kind of creeping up. What, what is causing that again? Two different things can do that. One is water treatment, lack of water treatment, mm -hmm. poor water treatment, something's happened to your water softener. Something's happened in the process to where they busted a coil out in the process and they're running something back to the condensate return into the DA tank or feed system that's pumped into the boiler. So, it, so in essence, you're building something on the water side of the boiler that's, that's insulating that tube, keeps that, those gases from transferring into the water to create steam, mm. so then that heat comes straight out the stack. Mm. That's one side. The other is on the combustion side itself, where you're, you're sooting the boiler, you've got a coating of unburnt fuel mm. inside that tube. Okay. That caused the stack temperature to go up, same thing. And then the suet job starts happening. Then the suet job starts happening and everybody has a lot of fun. Yes, that's where you put the rookies. That's where you put the rookies. <laughs> that's it. Do you find same. out whether they're going to stay or not. That's right. Well, I think that's it. We appreciate you hanging out with us on the stack temperature, and we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point. I appreciate Stephen hanging out with us today, talking about the stack temperature. We also appreciate Heat Sponge, as they have uh, donated the economizer that is on the Victory unit right here in the boiler lab. Speaking of the boiler university, uh, we've got a couple schools coming up here real soon. I know we're gonna be the 101 is gonna be in Augusta. And then we've got a 201 class here at, uh, uh, in Louisville. So make sure you get out, sign up and check out our new facility here at, at Boiler University. Also, the American Boiler Manufacturers Association is having a manufacturers conference in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Go out and check them out. Uh, we're a proud member of the American Boiler Manufacturers Association and appreciate what they stand for, what they mean to us. And, um, you know, would love for you to, to, to go down there. I know we're going to be there, so we'd love to meet you. Well, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you don't mind, share a video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.